Hey sweeties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys here. Now, obviously you guys clicked this video because you guys want to know exactly what I would add because I know for sure that us as Bloxburg players, if we all like owned Bloxburg, what would we do? Like, I promise you the amount of cool updates that would come out would be insane. So I decided I wanted to do this video because obviously there was this huge issue. I feel like it's still honestly going on. It's just, um, there's been less rioting and protests, but nonetheless, it's still a problem about the equal pay that happened in Bloxburg, as well as also the hospital builds, the moods. There was so much realism in the update that people were like, okay, you got to chill with this. It's keep keeping us like from wanting to enjoy the game. So I was like, okay, well, what I need to do is I kind of want to talk about like if I owned Bloxburg like you know and show you guys the ideas I have because thinking about this like you know I want to know what my ideas would create in the community would you guys get mad at it or would you guys actually think they're pretty good ideas so obviously I've been a Bloxburg player for a little while so a lot of these are kind of they've they changed every single time but these are my most recent ideas and I'll give a small little explanation about what I mean for each of them so for the first one, I actually saw this on a different game before, but I thought it was a genius idea, is about having a server option. So basically, you have a social server and a quiet server. Now, I've seen loads of people mention something about a roleplay server and a building server, and I thought that was a really good idea, but then I was like, sometimes when you're building, you know, you might want to end up switching to being, um, you know, like roleplaying, because you might have been building and then you're finished, and instead of switching servers or different, like, things all the time, it's probably a lot more beneficial if you just have a social server, so you could be building in there, and then you can switch, or you could be you know like role playing or working and then you could you know just you know you could be talking to people but then a quiet server would be that if you're building or if you're working you are just doing that you're not there to talk to anyone the chat will basically be empty and it's just a very basic quiet server it's not to talk to anyone or socialize the second idea that i've got is about kind of something that they said they're doing anyways but a map expand plus adding it so basically there's so many things I've seen people say, such as like even adding plots on the beach, adding more on the beach, and adding so many more different buildings and things. But I was trying to think about it in the way that the format of Bloxburg is. So I'm trying to think a bit more realistic, but you know, not too much. Um, but here are some ideas. So one of them is a police station. I feel like that's actually a pretty good idea just simply because you know, I mean, a police station, it's very standard, it's very basic, there's nothing crazy about it, um, but, you know, you could even have a job in there, you could have, like, an NPC moment where, basically, you are having to interrogate people in a room, so you go there, you're working, and then what happens is each one passes by, you've got to match them up with a card or something. I thought this was a really basic idea, but I feel like it's something that's achievable. The next one is a bus route. I saw this in one of my favorite games, Livetopia. They have an automated bus, so it goes around the entire map just consistently all throughout the entire time you're on the game. It doesn't stop ever. I mean, it does stop at the bus stops, but it stops for about like five, ten seconds or something, and then it moves on. And I think that is a really cool idea for role plays, um, just to add to the realism. And also, I would definitely mean I would not add a fee for it. It would be free, I promise you. Then my next one would be a, I, I would have said a hospital, but probably a doctor's just because it's the like the way the Bloxburg looks. We don't really have a city format there. They're very small little buildings, you know, they're very, it's one of everything. So I feel like maybe a doctor's would be really cute and it would be very simple. Probably no like job there perhaps. I mean, it would be cool. You could be like a receptionist or something, but if I owned Bloxburg, obviously I would have a billion jobs in every single place. Um, But I'm just saying as well, also in terms of how difficult it would be probably it would probably just have to be a small little thing just to kind of add to the role play experience and then of course relax i definitely if i owned blogsburg would absolutely have added a school there's no way i could do this without a school because your girl we i know i know how much it is so exhausting having to build a school anytime you want to do it and plus i would love to be able to do a blogsburg series one day and then the fact that i'm gonna have to build the school because they are never going to add one it's been like three four five plus years and they still not added one i'm devastated but nonetheless the next thing it would be to add more interactive roleplay items. Now, I really, really strive for more modern kind of things in the interactivity, definitely more electronics. I would add tons of them, but something that I was really thinking heavily about would be such as like phones, iPads. 
and I would add like charging ports. As you know, we've got these little charging bits in the wall, so they're like the little outlets. I would definitely like if we could somehow like, you know, have an animation where you can plug in an actual charging port and then also plug in a phone. The phones wouldn't be interactive at all because I feel like that would just mess up the game too much. Instead, it would just be a very basic standard phone. It just looks like it. You can tell it's a phone just like they do in Berry Avenue, Livetopia, Brookhaven, all of these kind of games. I would just make it a very standard phone and iPad, but it would be really cool and really cute I think and something as well is that with the iPhones or like whatever kind of phones they have even flip phones I would add all sorts I would really make sure that you could call people so you don't have to keep on you know putting a wall phone or a like you know a more household phone the next one I really thought was a really I don't know, it's a debatable idea, but is pets. Pets in Bloxburg seems like a really good idea, but in the way that the Sims kind of have it, so you can buy it. So relax, I do not mean like the way Adopt Me would turn out. I know everyone would be starting up on me about that, but it would not be the way Adopt Me is because you can't trade them, so it wouldn't get toxic at all. As long as you could buy them and maybe start out with like a hamster cage, goldfish, snakes, um, then dogs, cats, and then maybe if things got really, you know, good and people actually would showing a lot of like good notes about it I would then end up adding like cows sheep farm animals all of that kind of stuff and then my final option is actually attics hollow roofs all of that I absolutely love the way that Bloxburg have been adding more things for basements such as the doors the like the little like secret doors and everything but your girl wants an attic I want to be able to do so many cool builds, but because I have to keep on doing a fake roof thing to make it look more like interesting with the dimensions, I know they can do it because they've already added a hollow roof. If they just allowed attics to work within that hollow roof, I promise you it would be amazing. And I would add some sort of ladder pull thing. So basically it's a door thing, but you can pull the ladder down. A modern one such as like a button automated system or as one that is just an order ordinary manual one where you have to pull it down. Nonetheless though, it would be a really, really important thing that I would love to see. Okay, so honestly, I know that that was quite a lot, but at the same time, they were very basic things. But the thing is, though, there's so many complexities with actually having a game in Bloxburg. You know, like the whole of developing games, we don't even, we can't even comprehend how difficult it is. But the thing is, though, because of how much I love Bloxburg, it is kind of a shame that these are very basic things that we thought would have been added. I'm not saying like, you know, the pets and the server thing, but something like the attics or something about like more interactivity with roles play items you'd expect that to have been added i mean recently we've only just gotten pens and pencils and stuff so i must say they are a bit sloppy but i'm going to allow it this time just because you know this is just all hypothetical obviously i would never own blocksburg i'm not even a game developer or anything i can't imagine the stress it must come to but i definitely would love to see that you know some of these things being added in the future and who knows maybe one day in a few years time i can come back to this video and we can all see which ones i was actually right about which ones they would actually add but nonetheless I'm actually really happy with you know the way they are progressing but I definitely would like to know myself what you guys would have added if you were the owner of Bloxburg let me know what you guys think of my ideas and obviously like I said let me know what your ideas are and I'll see you guys next time bye everyone <laughs>